So if you're growing cut flowers at home, either for gifts for your friends or potentially to sell at a farmer's market in your local community, there's a few things that you need to keep in mind. You wanna usually cut the flowers early in the morning. You wanna have a bucket of water ready. And if you put a little bit of uh, citric acid in it, that will help to change the pH of the water for the flowers. And some sodium hypochlorate or bleach will cut down on the bacteria in it. If you're gonna do a gallon, you probably want a few drops of the citric acid or just lemon juice for the homeowner. And up to a couple of spoonfuls in a gallon of water of household bleach. You wanna arrange those flowers so that they're attractive to your buyer. Start with some taller spiky flowers. You may add in some smaller flowers that will make a nice filler in the arrangement. Then you can add some more round flowers for some variety in your shape. As you go, you wanna make sure that you take off the foliage so that that foliage won't decay in the bucket or in the vase and cause more bacterial growth in your arrangement. And then you can just keep adding flowers to the arrangement so that you get to the size of the bouquet that you wanna give. I'm just gonna use a piece of twine to tie a bow around this. As you're transporting it, be sure that you keep it as cool as possible, and it's better to keep it in water rather than laying on your car seat as you're transporting it. The University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman, and this is From the Ground Up.